When Instagram personality Barry Bartlett showed up at Happy Place for a photo shoot, he found a yellow building and a big locked door. This place is going viral on social media, really crazy. It's been, a lot of people have been getting amazing pictures at this place. And then to finally shut down, it was, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? That's what many ticket holders are wondering as well. People complaining online that the pop-up art house sold tickets but it has not issued refunds. And Happy Place isn't the only pop-up attraction with a problem opening its doors. Candytopia's grand opening has been indefinitely suspended. Set up in this warehouse at LA Hangar Studios, the front gate closed to the public. A publicist for Candytopia tells Eyewitness News inspectors for the city of Los Angeles have shut it down for a lack of appropriate permits. A Department of Building and Safety official confirms that both attractions are barred from opening because temporary use permits were not issued. Eyewitness News reached out to Happy Place for comment but has not heard back. Its management, though, posted an apology on its Instagram account. Quote, we understand your frustration and are greatly sorry for your inconvenience. The last thing we want is to let anybody down. We look forward to this being quickly resolved in the coming days and are thankful to the city of Los Angeles and their coordination with us to correct this matter. Candytopia issuing a similar mea culpa. Both pop-ups are promising refunds to those ticket holders locked out of their reserved dates and are still offering tickets for future dates. Bartlett is urging LA officials to expedite the permit process to encourage more places like this to open. Find some way to make it work, right? Always want to find some place, find a way to make it work. Now we should note city officials tell us that Candytopia has been working with the city to acquire the necessary permits, but the city also tells us Happy Place has not, in fact, they say Happy Place operators haven't even applied for a use permit yet. In downtown L.A., Rob Hayes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.